Hi, Talon here. In this video, I would like to show you simple design tactics that will improve existing user interface. For the purpose of the tutorial, I have chosen mobile version of Audio Jungle website. Audio Jungle is a popular store where you may purchase soundtracks and use them later commercially. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Especially for this video, I've recreated Audio Jungle screen in Figma. First, let's take a look at the navbar. Its height is too small. Apple Human Interface Guidelines recommend at least 44 points for interactive areas. Let's give it a bit more space and set it to 56 points, so interactive elements inside will fit well. Users are familiar with the profile and menu icon, so there is no need to surround them with button shapes. Let's remove these redundant rectangles. We may also increase the size of the icons and align them to the main scanline of the screen. This search bar feels comfortable. Let's leave it for now. This text is definitely too long. Let's replace it. So the users will get the same information within a few words. Remember to keep your text content short and clear. You may also reduce the number of text styles. This separator line makes the UI a little bit too busy. Let's remove it. Search, filtering and sorting are the features that are often used together. Let's make them the same size as search field because they seem pretty important when dealing with over 11,000 results. They should be integral part of a search. Let's unify border width to bring more consistency to the user interface. Because we moved search and filtering options nearby, we have to make them look like a single panel. Thanks to this, users will feel that they control all changes at one time. To do that, we will create a primary button with a search label. Let's play with text styles to strengthen the information architecture. Icons with the same color as the label drive much more attention. Because of that, I like to make them a bit lighter than text. This balances visual hierarchy. We may even expand the navigation bar to separate filtering section from the results. It should build good visual hierarchy and the user will quickly move his eyes to the list below. I will remove the information for now because it is more relevant to display this in details or inside the purchase form. In this specific screen the primary need of the user is to find the right track. Let's also remove the stroke in the text field. Fill is enough as a contrast on the dark background. Now let's move to results lists and improve cards. I have built them as the components in Figma, so all changes will be applied to every instance of the card item. Our first task is to make them more scannable. We will increase readability by aligning text to the same scan line. Much better. The most important button here is the play button. Everyone buying a track has to listen it first. So let's make it feel like a primary button. To do this we will change color, add soft shadow and increase size to at least 44 points.
Now we will add a bit more radius to the avatar. While avatars may have different shapes, most of them are pure rectangles. Adding a small radius to them will instantly improve the consistency of the card, where radius of the card itself and the buttons are rounded. Let's get rid of a number of tracks and BPM. They are such specific data that they should be displayed on the details page, or if the user searches for that kind of information, they should be able to set specific filter. The icons on the right are very secondary. I think that it will be much better to hide them under the context menu. The line between title and writing area makes it feel busy. Let's remove it. Now, move rating just below the title. This type of information corresponds well with each other. Let's also move the title area to the top of the card. The audio controls at the bottom of the card will be easier to reach on mobile devices. The Add to Card button does not look so clear. Let's add the label to it and change the appearance to look a bit less prominent than the play button, which is more important here. Subtle separation of the audio controls will increase the clarity of the design. You do not have to use separator lines for this. There are much more elegant ways to do this. In this case, it will be better to use color fill to separate areas. Our modification reduced size of the cards and increased their readability. Let's apply some minor changes to improve the balance. As I also mentioned before, the disappeared actions may be placed in the context menu. Improvements we've made increase readability and clarity of design. We also gain some additional space. What's worth mentioning, Audio Jungle uses pure grey for neutrals. I like to make them cooler. They will seem much more natural. Pure grey feels a bit dull. Feel free to add a little dose of color to it. It may be cooler or warmer. The starting point, I always rely on a color palette from my UI design starter kit called Prime. Now, let's apply this tactic to all neutral elements. This is it. The final design still looks like Audio Jungle mobile website, but is much more scannable and readable. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Simple tactics can make every user interface more attractive and usable. I also gathered over 100 UI design tactics inside the book. You may check it out and pre-order it. Link is in the description below. Don't forget to like video, comment and subscribe if you haven't. See you soon!